I'm afraid of dying like everybody, yes. I don't think too much. Um, I want to live <laughs> and I want to keep going on my crazy adventures. Uh, but of course I'm afraid. I don't know what is going to happen after. I always wanted to fly since I was little and I, my mom, she used to take me to watch birds uh, in this uh, park. Um, so we will stay there for hours and hours. <laughs> I have been thinking about fear uh, all my life and I guess I like, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't do this job. Uh, and uh, I feel I need to be excited all the time about something uh, otherwise I feel I have no energy or I start to think about maybe negative um, stuff and so I feel it keep me alive and and busy and um, and yeah when when I have a like a really dangerous job or a big stunt, I, I stress a lot before. But then once I'm there, it's all good, you know? It's my environment and I feel good about Fly a wingsuit, it feels like everybody says, you feel like a bird and it's true. I mean, you fly next to rocks, uh, you can fly close to trees waterfalls, uh, you can fly by in between buildings like how I did, uh, you can do lots of more things in a wingsuit and uh, it really feels that you can fly. It makes me feel like, uh, of course I have uh, something on my body, it's not just my body flying, um, but I have uh, this amazing system that can take me far. So everything you learn before, then you start to wingsuit and it's like, wow, this is really flying. You know, I'm not falling like free fall, uh, skydiving, you really move and you can go far and lots of distance. And When I was very little, uh, my mom used to take me to the ocean there. And uh, we live uh, like five minutes walk from the ocean. And um, so I learned to swim before walking. <laughs> I started with scuba diving in Maldives uh, because a friend of mine was going there and he told me, do you wanna go to do the course for scuba diving? And I was like, yeah, of course, let's go. And that's how I started. It was uh, not something I was really dreaming about, but uh, like I said, I was always in the water because I live close to the sea. And uh, of course I liked all the animals underwater and uh, I was very attracted by, and so I, I decided to go with him and uh, we did the course together and it was amazing. I love it. Yeah, right away, but I, I think I started to love uh, diving much more when I started to swim with sharks. It was more exciting for me. <laughs> and uh, I like that they are strong and powerful and I'm little and I can still interact with them and nothing happened and I think they are amazing animals. I like every animal in general. Uh, and sometimes they ask me this question, oh, don't you like also cats and dogs? Of course I do, I love animals in general. But I think with sharks, I feel more present for sure. And I feel there is more energy going. Or, you know, you really want to live the moment with them around. But sharks, they really like to come to you. And, um, and I mean, if they keep coming back, it's because they like you and they wanna know you, they wanna understand. 
uh, they are curious about, that's what I like. So I feel I want to connect as much. Uh, one way to connect with them, and maybe it sounds crazy, but I really start to tell uh, inside myself that I love them and I want to protect them and I'm not going to hurt them. That's something. I don't know if they can hear <laughs> this in my mind, but I think they're so smart that maybe they can get the feeling. And so um, they come close to me a lot. So I guess they feel comfortable and um, they are so pretty. That's all I think when I see them, they are so pretty. <laughs> In base jumping, before I jump off, I, I get really scared sometimes, especially if it's a new place. Three, two, one. Before I do a base jump, I think, don't get hurt and uh, because of my family and um, also to concentrate a lot to visualize the best jump I could do and uh, the whole flight from the moment I'm on, on the top of the cliff to the landing and uh, if I visualize good it's usually what is happening and, um, and also if I've been training a lot I feel much better. I lost a uh, lot of friends base jumping. It's, um, it's hard to do this sport. It's not easy to be in the sport. It can be sad too. Losing a friend can make me think uh, to stop, but uh, I also think they did uh, with such passion and uh, is what I love to do. So it's really hard to quit and um, I don't like to quit in general. So, and if I don't do it, I don't feel happy. So what I try to do is to be as safe I can be and keep going. Problem with base jumping that there is nothing safe about. Uh, it's, it's one of the most dangerous sports and we really have to be honest to ourselves and to our family too. If I feel a lot of fear before I base jump, I just try to calm myself down. And uh, uh, the best is really to visualize a good jump and not be negative of what can go wrong. Um, and then uh, I breathe a lot before, that helps. And um, I just think to have a fun, otherwise why I'm doing this <laughs> if it's not fun? I want to experience life as much and uh, I think the wars will be uh, don't do what I love and who knows maybe one day I get sick and I never done anything so um, I rather keep going <laughs> and do even more crazy things and, and be super happy and when is the time to live you know, I feel satisfied and I've done a lot. I cannot imagine a life without uh, my sports. Uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do is not myself. 